Located in the heart of Harold's Cross, Dublin, lies Mount Jerome Cemetery and Crematorium. To date, it has received 250,000 funerals and 10,000 for cremation. Here we look at just two of the many stories Mount Jerome has to offer. These two stories are true and have been verified by historians. On Monday, November 20th, 1871, a small group of people were gathered in Mount Jerome Cemetery for the funeral of a friend. Their prayers were interrupted by the sound of a gun firing. The shot came from the northern part of the cemetery and two men bravely went to investigate. A Mr. Cliburn lay on a grave with an old-fashioned pistol in his hands, still smoking. The dead man was dressed well, his cane and hat lying nearby. When someone reached to his hat, paper was inside. The first piece of paper was a letter to the managing director of the Royal Bank where the dead man had been manager for 25 years. In it, it said, after the American Civil War, Mr. Cliburn had started to invest in Wicklow Copper. Buying shares were £22 each. The shares, just three years later, were being sold for just £9 a share. And because money was owed to the bank, he was forced to sell them at that price. Letter also explained how he suspected the mine was about to hit a rich vein and would be worth a lot more, but the bank would not listen and forced him to sell. The second letter was addressed to his wife and child and simply said, My dear good wife and son, forget me. I cannot help myself. I put all our money into Wicklow Copper. Your unfortunate but well-meaning John. The last piece of paper was for the receipt of the grave he now lay on. John Cliburn was buried on Friday, November the 24th, 1871, in the grave where he took his own life. Shortly after, Wicklow Copper struck a rich vein. Each share doubled in price. Another story here is of a man who drowned and was buried in Mount Jerome. His faithful dog, heartbroken, visited his owner's grave every day for three months. The dog, some say, died of a broken heart, and now takes his place in the master's grave, marked by a monument, the Wailing Dog. I finish these stories by adding my own. Here lies some of the ashes behind the plaque. These ashes belong to my father, who died of cancer in 2004. If the ghosts of Mount Jerome sit and tell stories, I am sure of one thing. My dad has them in stitches laughing. I dedicate this video to Austin Evans, my dad. <laughs>